This video is on the chapter of vectors in vector spaces and we are now um, working on norms or length of vectors in a vector space Rn. In the previous video we introduced the definition of unit vector. So a unit vector is a vector that has length 1, meaning that u times 1, inner product, u times u equals 1. Okay, so for instance here in R2, this vector is in R2, we show this, this vector u, this, the, the, the big vector, so to call, and then we have this u prime, right, and this u prime is a small vector with a uh, length 1, okay? So, you see, if you have two vectors, like vector v is 1, 1, they are all in R2, and vector w is 2, 2, the vectors will have more or less this behavior, okay? Because they will they have the same direction, right? And if you want to get to W, you can get W if you multiply V by a lambda. In this case, if you multiply V by 2, you're going to get W, right? Because 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so here you have vectors with the same direction. Okay, so it is important here to, to, to get vectors, to get unit vectors. And there is some sort of process to make any vector a unit vector. So I'm going to do it right here. Okay, so I'm going to write that as a cap okay v cap so v cap is the definition of v cap is i have to turn facebook off uh, this is one of the consequences of having 5000 friends on facebook okay so you have vector v okay and v is any vector okay so v is any vector and you want to make v a unit vector. So what you do is you multiply, I'm going to do it on the left, by 1 over the norm of v. So at the end of the day you have v dividing the norm of v. Okay, and this one, this is so v can be any vector, this one will be a unit vector. This is some sort of process or algorithm to transform a, any vector in a unit vector. Okay, so if you are working with a lot of vectors, it's good to have them all as unit vectors, so you only have to uh, worry about direction okay and there will be no confusion about length of vectors okay this is very common in calculus you use that a lot in vector calculus and of course in the million different areas of physics so um, this vector has the same direction has vector v exactly the same direction okay but this one has norm one we call this we call this process normalizing normalizing meaning getting any vector and transforming it in a unit vector now if you are asked to prove that v hat is a unit 
vector well you just pick all these right meaning so um, you do v hat times v hat so you just pick v hat times v hat so v hat times v hat is this v over the norm of v v over the norm times the v over the norm right so this is one over the norm squared because this is v times v and this is a v times v normal inner product right so you're going to get one over v squared times v squared uh, the norm of the norm of v squared okay and this is naturally because these two they cancel this will be one